SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk just revealed that SpaceX will be ready to launch Starship in a few weeks. Then, launching time depends on FAA license approval. Assuming that takes a few weeks, the first launch attempt will, will be near the end of the third week of April. We are probably all too familiar with Musk's optimistic promises, but on Wednesday, SpaceX's VP Tom Ocinero also announced so close to Starship Orbital Launch, currently waiting on our FAA license so that we can announce our launch date but that should be happening very shortly. Indeed, with testing mostly behind SpaceX, that license to launch may now be the biggest source of uncertainty for Starship's orbital class debut. SpaceX must guarantee to complete more than 75 changes to its proposal for the Starbase facility if the company wants to avoid additional review and eventually receive a license from the FAA to launch its new Starship rocket to orbit from the site. This is mainly due to SpaceX's Starbase facility being located in a small town called Boca Chica, Texas, right on the southern tip of Texas along the Rio Grande River and the U.S.-Mexican border. For the last few years, SpaceX has used the site to construct full-scale prototypes of Starship, the company's next-generation monster rocket designed to take people and cargo to deep space destinations like the Moon and Mars. SpaceX has already conducted various high-altitude test flights with Starship prototypes from Starbase, but now the company hopes to actually launch Starship to space for the first time and send the vehicle to orbit. In order to launch Starship to orbit from Starbase, SpaceX first needs a launch license from the FAA, and the fate of SpaceX's Starbase facility in Boca Chica has been hanging in the balance for nearly two years as the FAA has been conducting an environmental review of how the company's launch operations would impact the surrounding area. Initially, SpaceX had no plans to launch its future Moon and Mars rocket from Texas. In fact, the company's first piece of land in Boca Chica, purchased back in 2012, was intended to be a commercial launch site for its smaller Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. The goal was to launch up to 12 times a year from this serene location, away from the hustle and bustle of its much busier launch site in Cape Canaveral, Florida. To ensure that SpaceX's plans aligned with environmental regulations, the FAA conducted a thorough environmental review of the proposed launch site. In 2014, the agency published an Environmental Impact Statement, or an EIS, that detailed how the smaller launches would affect the area. Despite the original plan, SpaceX eventually decided to launch its future Moon and Mars rocket from Boca Chica. This decision was made after the company realized that the site's remote location and proximity to the Gulf of Mexico made it an ideal location for testing and launching its Starship spacecraft. An EIS can take many months and often years to complete, as it requires interviewing experts, scientists, business officials, and residents, as well as conducting rigorous analysis and research about how a proposed action will impact the nearby human environment. However, SpaceX's plans have significantly changed since the first EIS was published. Beginning in 2018, the company seriously ramped up production activities in Boca Chica after deciding to devote the South Texas facility solely to the production of Starship prototypes. The more modest commercial launch facility that SpaceX once imagined has morphed into a thriving installation. Filled with massive warehouses and tents and dominated by round-the-clock construction conducted by thousands of employees. As SpaceX's presence in the area grew, the company also began conducting high-altitude flight tests with its Starship prototypes, launching the vehicles up to heights of around 30,000 to 40,000 feet in the air before attempting to land them back on Earth. Most of these tests ended in fiery explosions, with only one successfully sticking its landing. One prototype blew apart just before it was supposed to land back in March of 2021, spreading metal debris across the nearby wildlife refuge. The test flights combined with ongoing construction and ground testing have led to growing tensions with the nearby community. Starbase is situated next to a small neighborhood of a couple of dozen homes called Boca Chica Village, which is only really accessible via one lone state highway that connects to Starbase. That road is frequently closed during tests and other demonstrations, limiting access to both the village and the nearby beach. Residents also complained of disruption to their daily lives as they were often asked to leave their homes during major tests. Many in Boca Chica Village have sold their properties to SpaceX, though a few residents have held onto their homes. 
Finally, in late 2020, the FAA announced that it planned to conduct an environmental review of SpaceX's plans to launch Starship to orbit from Starbase. In September of 2021, the FAA released a Draft Programmatic Environmental Assessment, or PEA, laying out SpaceX's updated plans for the area. The document revealed that during the ongoing development of Starship, SpaceX plans to conduct up to 20 suborbital launches of Starship a year, sending the vehicle on its own to high altitudes or up to space, but not to orbit, before attempting to land it back on Earth. The company also plans to conduct up to five orbital or suborbital launches with Starship a year on top of the Super Heavy Booster, a massive rocket that SpaceX is also developing to give Starship the extra thrust it needs to achieve orbit. During these launches, the Super Heavy would also attempt to land back on Earth, either at a landing pad or a platform in the nearby Gulf of Mexico. Ultimately, SpaceX estimated that it would have to close access to the state highway a total of 500 hours each year for normal operations and an extra 300 hours each year for anomalies. And things would certainly change as SpaceX progressed in its development. SpaceX anticipated that the number of orbital launches would increase over time with suborbital flights decreasing. Beyond the disruption, SpaceX also outlined other major additions to its plans, including the creation of a natural gas pretreatment system to purify methane to be used in the Starship rocket. And there was speculation that SpaceX would need to build a pipeline to transport gas to the plant. SpaceX has since scrapped its plans for a natural gas pretreatment system, a power plant, and a desalination plant, according to the FAA's decision released today. The company has also modified the capabilities of its Raptor engine, which is used to propel Starship. Because of these changes, SpaceX doesn't need as many engines for its vehicles as it previously expected. But the FAA concluded that this wouldn't discernibly change the environmental impact. As part of its environmental review, the FAA held a comment period for SpaceX's proposed plans which drew both intense criticism and support from members of the public. Many critics demanded that the FAA conducted a new EIS as the one that was conducted in 2014 was no longer adequate based on SpaceX's new plans. The FAA said it received more than 18,000 comments during that period, which contributed to prolonging the decision-making process since SpaceX had to draft responses to each of the comments. The FAA also had to consult with various government agencies to make its decision, including the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, or FWS, and National Park Service, which raised some questions about SpaceX's potential effects on the area. In a biological opinion given to the FAA, the FWS noted that there's been a decrease in the piping plover population an endangered bird that nests in Boca Chica correlated with the increase in SpaceX activity in the area, CNBC reported. As part of this decision, the FAA will not conduct another EIS, which will potentially save SpaceX some time as it moves forward with its first orbital launch. Meanwhile, SpaceX has been working on a potential Plan B for Starship. In December, the company began construction on a Starship launch pad in Cape Canaveral, Florida, an area that has been hosting orbital launches for the last half century. SpaceX already operates two launch pads out of the area for its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. It's been quite the journey for SpaceX to get the Starship launch license, and hopefully there won't be any more FAA issues or delays. And that's about all the information we have for you today. If you appreciate the work my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and we'll see you next time.